right, everyone, thank you for tuning in to our Batman Tumbler Bat Cart build video. We wanted to give you a quick, like, one minute overview on this cart because um, these have been on the internet here and there, but there's just not a lot of information on them out there. So, we're going to go over this one today. Uh, ours was built by RPM Productions out in San Dimas, California. Uh, so, this cart was a about a six month build process. Every single panel on the cart is actually metal. So um, you'll see us knocking on them from time to time whenever we show people the cart, but there is almost no fiberglass. The only fiberglass on the entire cart is this rear cowl. And so Mark Irvin actually built a full-size Batman tumbler as well. And that full-size Batman tumbler, that's why he had the cowl. He decided to use it for a golf cart for a customer. And there are now five of these in the world. Let's just go over some of the, the features real quick. So the cart has a uh, six horsepower um, electric motor. The cart also has custom, totally custom disc brakes. They're Willwood two piston disc brakes. So it has Willwood two pistons in the front and in the rear. So there are two pistons on every corner of this cart. It stops very well, but it needs to because it weighs about 1200 pounds. You can see here in the center between the driver and passenger seat, that's where the reservoirs are for the uh, Willwood disc brakes. The wheels and tires on this cart, these are actually a 14 inch steel wheel uh, and they're totally custom, they're dualies. So no golf carts really have dually setups, this one does. And uh, true to the movie, these are the actual Interco Super Swampers in a 28 inch form. They're 28 by 850 for a 14 inch wheel. So 28 inches tall versus the movie vehicle, uh, the real tumbler is a 44 inch tall tire. Um, but pretty cool to see dualies on, on a golf cart. On the front, we have 205 50 10 uh, DOT street low profile tires. These are from Wanda. We offer these on our website as well if you'd like to match. Um, these ones are on black steel wheels with custom lug nuts. The suspension setup on this cart is a Fox 3.0. Uh, with reservoir. So these are real Fox racing shocks, just like you'd find in a Ford Raptor, set up to handle uh, the load back and forth. And also their primary function is just to look like the movie vehicle. I want to show you guys, this has a real four link uh, suspension in the rear. So this suspension, obviously the, the shocks assist the up and down travel, um, but you can see everything's welded together down there with a couple of links for them to be specific, just to match the movie vehicle. Rear tail lights are off of a trailer. It's kind of like you'd see in an industrial or utility truck. Um, that's what we ended up going with for the setup on the rear tails. The front seats are actually bucket seats, uh, race seats that are a Kevlar uh, backside, and they have this carbon fiber nylon weave around the edges too, to give it kind of a nice touch. This card was built on an EasyGo TXT frame as the base. So you have your standard EasyGo parking brake and gas pedal and your horn switch on the floor. Uh, but everything else, the frame was modified a bit in the rear and every other panel was just ground up construction on this cart. In the rear for our jet thruster, we have a fan setup. It's made and designed to look like a turbine. It actually doesn't do much, but the vehicle does have a startup sound with an onboard uh, speaker system in order to give it that jet sound effect. Climbing into the cab, I'll show you what I mean with the startup. So if we just twist our key there, uh, we actually have a, it's a Gilder Fluke is the, is the electric system in here. You can put really any sound effect you want on here. Right now, very clearly the jet startup sound effect. We have a rear view mirror up top. And then you can see that the, the front windshield is bronze tinted to match that of the windshield in the movie. There's the front windshield. So moving to the back, you can hear the Gilder Fluke in action. It's probably a little bit loud, but it's uh, recessed up into the, uh, into the cowl. That's where we get our, our jet engine sound effect from. Up top, we have some shock mounts with these simulated hydraulic air brakes, just like on the real tumbler vehicle. That's what the wings were, uh, were, were built for, was to help the vehicle slow down. Clearly, they're for looks on this cart, but they do add a nice touch. We really wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in today here at GolfCartTireSupply.com. We were so happy to commission this project with Mark Irvin and to be able to have it in our fleet. There's, like I said, there's five in the world. This is the last one that will be built. If you wanna learn more about this particular back cart, be sure to read our article on the Batman Tumbler golf cart linked on our website and down in the description. 
If you like this video, please drop us a like and click subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, and we have a lot more cool content coming for you guys in 2024. And we've always got your back when it comes to golf cart wheels, tires, and accessories. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Xana better have Joker on the naughty list.